want to draw your attention to the second page of this paper from Burgos saying a relatively high number of reports suggest that curcumin may cause toxicity under specific conditions. In 1976, Good Pasture and Arigi found that turmeric caused a dose and time-dependent induction of chromosomal aberrations in several mammalian salines. These alterations were observed at concentrations of 10 micrograms per ml. So again, probably higher than you could achieve with any normal dosing of curcumin, but those are the doses at which people have also seen benefits of curcumin. It's curcumin concentration of 2.5 and 5 micrograms per ml were shown to induce DNA damage to both mitochondrial and nuclear genomes in cells. These reports raise concerns about curcumin safety as the induction of DNA alterations is a common event in carcinogenesis. That is the formation of cancer. Curcumin generates reactive oxygen species irreversibly by modifying the antioxidant enzyme thioredoxin reductase. What about thioredoxin reductase? Well, this is interesting because it may be connected with cancer mechanisms. And I didn't talk about any of the mechanisms with curcumin and cancer because I want to point this out. Just because something works in cancer cell line models doesn't mean it's good for healthy humans. Do you have cancer? <laughs> if you do, maybe there's a separate discussion. If you don't have cancer, why do you think that something that is beneficial in a cancer cell model is going to be translated to you as a healthy individual? That is an assumption that we cannot make. Do you take chemotherapy every day as a vitamin? I hope not. Thioredoxin reductase is irreversibly modified by curcumin. It is irreversibly modified by curcumin. And as they say here, modification of thioredoxin reductase by curcumin provides a possible mechanistic explanation for its cancer preventive activity, shifting the enzyme from an antioxidant to a prooxidant. So this is what I'm talking about with regard to cancer. Many compounds which show anti carcinogenic activity, anti-cancer activity are pro-oxidants. They cause programmed cell death, also known as apoptosis. They cause DNA damage. You do not want agents that are chemotherapeutic in your body all the time. These are not good mechanisms. The way that these compounds often attack cancer is by causing cell death in the cancer. Do you want that to happen in your healthy cells as well? Curcumin has been shown to not be a compound that differentiates between healthy and cancerous cells. The Essential Medicinal Chemistry of Curcumin by Catherine M. Nilsson. Compound one, which is curcumin, uh, has never been shown to be conclusively effective in a randomized placebo-controlled clinical trial of any indication. This paper was published in 2017. Curcumin, compound one, uh, has activity against the HERG channel. Uh, you've probably heard me talk about this before. This is a potassium channel. The reactivity of each of these classes has important implications for the potential side effects. HERG channel inhibition related to cardiac toxicity. Compound one, which is curcumin, has recently been shown to be an active iron chelator in vivo, inducing a state of overt iron deficiency in mice fed diets poor in iron. Aided and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.